Come on in. Ain't nobody here but me. Hey, Dad, wait up. Don't let nobody here but me. Don't look for Eric. Take off your shoes, give your feet some air. You can even sit around in your underwear. Come on in. Ain't nobody here but me. Don't bother me now. I'm looking for Eric. No. But if Ed the Daisy isn't in the show anymore, what will happen to Rufus the rain cloud, and Sammy the sun, and Elvira the earth? I don't care. I thought you were excited about being Ed the Daisy. Joey Jordan told me only a little baby would dress up like a daisy. Oh. How old's Joey? Six. This reminds me of something that happened to me. It was last Halloween, and all the kids in my class decided it would be uncool to go trick-or-treating. Okay. Ready? Ready, Dad. Go. That's great. Hold it. I can't help but hold it. That's perfect. Just one second more. Ta -da! My dear, I believe we've outdone ourselves. Yikes! Do I really look like that? Not quite so orange. I'll get it. This reminds me of me. The time I tried to make my own mouthwash. Halloween this year. I was just helping my dad carve the pumpkin. You haven't changed your mind, have you? I haven't told him yet. Well, I brought some magazines so we can have a mature evening while the little kids go trick or treat. Teen boy. Boy teen. Eleven magazine. That's the one that has the article about public domain in it. Cool. Childish. Well, at least it worked. Mary and the librarian. Great. I wasn't really scared. Me neither. Only a little kid would fall for that. Ah! <gasps> Eric, I haven't been that scared <laughs> since I spent Halloween with a count in Transylvania. <laughs> count Dracula. No, Count Spatula. He flipped over you. Yes, but he was a backwards count. A no account count. <laughs> <laughs> Is this for tonight? Pumpkin-headed Bill, say hello to Marion the librarian. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> now, how scary is the show going to be? Um, one finger okay? Oh, no, I think we can afford to scare the little ones a wee more than that. Five fingers, then. Oh, that's too scary. The little ones will never be able to sleep after that. Three. I think that's perfect. The little ones will be able to sleep, but with a nightlight. Here you go, kid. It's all right? It's all right. Close the box. Trick or treat. I'm not ready yet. I don't know what to wear. What should I be? Should I, should I be a surgeon? Or, um, a Mexican bandito? Or... Count Dracula. I like him all. Oh. I'm such a fright. I'm such a fright. Trick or treat. Wait, 
Are we against all of Halloween or just trick-or-treating? I'm not sure. What did Tyler say? We better not take any chances. What are you waiting for? Trick or treat. Who are you? Guess. Give me a hint. I give up. I'm you, Eric. The best roofing player in the entire galaxy. Oh, Max, I'm flattered. You didn't tell me to say that. Figures. Oh, Max, you're here awful early. How come? Because you give out the best stuff. Well, that's absolutely true. As a matter of fact, you know, they say the early bird catches the worms. So here you go. Some worms. Yeah, Daddy. Well, there are some other things. How about this? <gasps> a candy kazoo and a toothbrush? That's different. I think the little kids will think that's really cute. Max, as long as you're here early, how would you like to hear a song? Dad, maybe it's too scary for Max. Well, how scary is it? I'd say it's scary enough to make what's left of that hair there stand on end. Want to hear it? There was an old lady, skin and bones. Ooh. She lived down by the old graveyard. Ooh. One night she thought she'd take a walk. Ooh. She saw the bones a lying around. Ooh. She went to the closet to get a broom. Ooh. She opened the. <laughs> he really got you. I only jumped because you did. I wasn't scared. No. <laughs> See you. Hey, it's like everybody's out early this year. I see a princess, a robot, a groundhog. He's really out early. Isn't it time you two girls got ready to head out? Better tell him. Tell me what? Dad, we're not going trick-or-treating this year. What? You mean you didn't go trick-or-treating? No. And you should have seen the look on my dad's face. It could have scared a pumpkin. You're making a big mistake. But, Dad, Halloween's only for little kids. It wouldn't be cool for us to go out tonight. Nobody gives up Halloween at your age. How old were you when you gave it up? Thirty-two. Kids mature faster these days, Eric. Next, they'll be telling me they're too old for Christmas. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? If we go out tonight, everyone will think we're dweebs. We all went out last year. We weren't dweebs then, because we were all doing it. Well, I'll go out if you'll go out. What if Tyler or somebody sees us? We have to spend the entire year with these people. Life used to be so much simpler. Trick or treat, I think. Dad, what kind of costume is that? Well, you girls got me so flustered, I put them all on. Careful and sterile. Permit me to introduce myself. Dr. Count Vangito, I steal your money and your blood. Where does the doctor part come in? That is the doctor part. Wow. Here you go. Let's see. Give you two and two for you guys. Oh. Bye. Now, weren't those guys cool? They were cute. But these guys are cool. Oh, gnarly dudes. Who are they? Dad, 
I keep telling you, but you never remember. They're my favorite group, public domain. Uh-huh. It says, Dingo is 14 years old, has blue eyes, green hair, and loves to go out on Halloween dressed as a lobster. Really? Dad's just putting us on. No, it says so right there. Take a look. What page is it on? Well, right next to the article on why dads are always right. Trick or treat. <laughs> Hi, CJ. <clears throat> I'm my brother, Sven. Oh, pleased to meet you, Sven. Where is CJ? He's at home, working very hard for you. Ah, such dedication. I don't believe it. He thinks I'm Sven. Here you go. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe I could get one for my brother, CJ. <laughs> How nice of you to think of him. This is incredible. Ha! Uh, Sven, can you see through that thing? I'm, I'm, it looks dangerous. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right, CJ? I'm his brother, Sven. <laughs> you see that? Even CJ is out there tonight. Trick or treat! <laughs> Look at you. Let's see, one, two, three, a unicorn, a princess, and a sorcerer. Bye. Bye. You know, those girls remind me of you when you were kids. What costumes did you have last year? I was a mummy. Made out of toilet paper. And I was a ballerina. And didn't you go as a bumblebee once? Yep, that was three years ago. And I went as a ballerina. And what about two years ago? I was a stick of gum. Sugarless, of course. And I went as ballerina. You know, you guys could think up some great costumes for this year. Hey, I could go as a ballerina. Kaylee, if we go out tonight, we're gonna be branded as weenies. It'd take us a lifetime to live it down. I guess you're right. Thick or treat? Oh, hi, Sven. Uh, no, I'm his brother, Samo. Samo? I haven't seen you around the trailer park before. Uh, I'm from San Miquelon. Oh, Sam O from San Miquelon. Ah, uh, oui. And you know, my brother CJ is doing such an incredible job for you. Uh, maybe I could pick up a little extra candy yes, for you. Yes, I've never seen such a considerate family. I can't believe it. He really thinks I'm Simon. Ah, uh, well, I must be going. The Lazaroni's there are giving out the brown swirly things. Uh. Did you hear that? The Lazzaronis are giving out brown swirly things. Let's go. But Prue, you see? Yeah. The brown swirly things are chocolate with chocolate centers covered in chocolate. And they're so chocolatey. Prue, we can't. Yes, we can. We can dress up so nobody will recognize us. Nobody needs to know. We'll know. I can't believe I'm siding with Prue, but she's right. Go out and get some brown swirly things. Worry about being cool next year. Dad, we made a pact. I think we should stick to it. And, and miss the, the brown, brown swirly, swirly things? Growing up means sacrifices. Ay, caramba! Why'd we have to quit Halloween this year? Bye. Let me see. See your palms. <clears throat> the sign of the pentagram is on your hand. I feel a strange presence in the house. It is saying, go out. Go out before it is too late. Before all the candy is gone. Dad, we can't. Tyler? Ring the bell again in 10 seconds. Just going to feed the cat. We don't have a cat. Trick or treat. Tyler? Tyler? Oh, hi, guys. Trick or treat. What do you mean, trick or treat? You know, I come to the door, you answer it, 
I hold my bag open, you give me a treat. I thought you weren't going out tonight. You said it wasn't cool. Hey, can't a guy change his mind? The more I thought about it, the more I thought. Halloween's one of the greatest holidays of the year. You'd have to be a real dweeb to stay in tonight. Cool. Well, I gotta go. The Akundis have a haunted house. Did he say you have to be a real dweeb to stay in on Halloween? Yeah. What are we waiting for? Wait. Where are we gonna get costumes now? Lots of costumes in the workshop. Maybe we could switch clothes and go with each other. No, we need something extra spiffy to make up for getting a late start. Spiffy duds in the workshop. I know. We'll look in the workshop. Wonder where they got that idea. No time to waste at the real disgrace. Gotta get it together and look around this place. No hanging around. You gotta do it right now. Looking cool is easy, but you gotta know how. You go to the closet and you open the door. Make a cool clothes pile in the middle of the floor. What do you mean we might have seen? We're making the scene this Halloween. Looking cool? Yeah. This is cool. Oh, yeah. We're looking good tonight. We're looking good with dynamite. And when we trick and treat, we're gonna make them all obsolete. Multicolor double lace, high cut, air rocker, stone wash, acid wash, beach bottle, twill with the sugar bag, corduroy casual. Don't put me on, make an impression, tie dye a neon, wear a floor resin, you rip it up, paint it up, lace it up bright, you got two cool dudes on Halloween night. We're looking good tonight, we're looking good, we're dynamite, and when we trick and treat, we're gonna make them all obsolete. Check out the Akunde's haunted house. And get some of those brown swirly things. Boy, it took you long enough. Too long. By the time we got outside, the last pumpkin was out. So you didn't go to the haunted house? Nope. Or get any brown swirly things? Nope. That is very sad story. You're depressing me. I know. But the story's not over yet. Let's face it, Prue. We're both a couple of pumpkin heads. We're gonna be the laughing stock of the whole school. I wonder if my mother will let me move to another country. I could start all over again. Well, girls, you missed out on the treat part of Halloween, but you could still get involved in the trick part. What are you talking about? Do you want to help me with my concert? It's okay with me. What do we have to do? Go get those bags from my workshop. <laughs> and who might you be? I'm his brother, Cecil. Cecil, uh, you're a bit late. Well, I've come a long way, mate. I'm from Sydney, Sydney, Australia. So you're Cecil from Sydney, and I'll bet you think that your brother CJ is doing a terrific job as my manager. Well, now that you mention it, mate, he is doing a bang-up job. And I'm sure he is. I am? No, I mean, he is? Yes, and as a matter of fact, if he were here, I'd probably sign our contract. You would? Oh, I mean, well, it just so happens I have it right here. Sorry, Mike. Something I'd have to take up directly with CJ. Trick or treat. Boom. <laughs> That's CJ. He really thinks I don't recognize him. Well, 
Actually, Eric, Uncle CJ does have three brothers, and they look exactly like him. More than one CJ? That's too scary, even for Halloween. Wait, Haley, what if we make fools of ourselves tonight? Who cares? If our friends think we're dweebs already, what have we got to lose? <laughs> dressed as, Marion? Max, I am dressed as the creature that, in my opinion, is the scariest creature in the universe. What's that? A bookworm. Now's the moment we've all been waiting for. The beginning of our spooky Halloween show. As a public service announcement, I've been asked to warn you that if you feel like you can't handle extreme spookiness, now's the time to leave. I was just gonna turn out the lights. Now, let everyone welcome our friend Eric with the saga of pumpkin-headed Mel. Look at this. Look at this. Magnificent Mel the magician. I asked him to make me into a wizard. Instead, he makes me into a lizard. <laughs> Pumpkin-headed Mel, he's fallen under his own spell. Tried to do his magic, now I've got a tragic tale to tell. Ladies and gentlemen, Magnificent Mel the Magician will now perform his world-famous death-defying trick of turning an orange into a pumpkin. The orange was presented Upon a silver tray Mel loosened up his fingers To bring his magic into play He stammered and he stuttered and he giggled His fingers how they wiggled and they wriggled But the tray worked like a mirror And the spell bounced back his way Pumpkin-headed Mel, he's fallen under his own spell. Tried to do it magic, now I've got a tragic tale to tell. Not to worry, no problem. It took a while, but Mel finally figured out how to reverse the spell. He spun three times in circles, stamped his feet upon the floor. Oh wait, or was it four times? Or maybe even more. He circled both his arms like a propeller. He jiggled like a bowl full of jeller. Uh-oh, he made a boo-boo. That's another spell, I'm pretty sure. Pumpkin-headed Mill, he's fallen under his own spell. Tried to do his magic, now I've got a tragic tale to tell. Uh-oh, it's getting awfully dim in here. And I'm afraid of the dark. My breath is coming in short pants, bikinis. Wait a minute, I'm just getting dizzy. That's it. I remember how Mel reversed it. He spun three times in circles. So fast, you couldn't tell. He shook his head like crazy till he lost his sense of smell. He held his breath and scrunched his eyes together till he turned blue as stormy weather. Cause that's his kind of magic. It was a dizzy spell. Our pumpkin-headed lad made good a story that was sad. A pumpkin from an orange, now we're done and orange and glad.
<laughs> Did you hear that? We loved it. Thanks, Dad. You saved our Halloween. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. Pretty cool, guys. I'd never have the nerve to do that. Suppose he ended up looking stupid. We'll take our chances. And by the way, pirates are definitely out this year. I wasn't scared. <laughs> Maybe I was a little scared. Me too. I was scared what other people thought of me. And that was a big mistake. Because it almost made me miss out on a lot of fun. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. If you think being in this play would be fun, who cares what Joey Jordan thinks? Can I tell you a secret? You sure can. I think Joey laughed at me because he's afraid to be in the 